Hi friends. Today I'm going to read you a nonfiction book that's sort of on the fiction side and I think you'll see what I mean in a moment. So it's kind of based on this creature. She has a little leash on so she doesn't wander her way. It's a lady beetle. She's not a bug. A bug has a face that's kind of like a triangle. The pointy top is at the top. And a beetle has kind of a rounded rectangle for a head. We have the antennae, little pincers you can't really see. That's what they use to grab food. And they have one, two, three legs. One, two, three. The so head, the thorax. Then the abdomen is underneath here on the beetle. And this is where her abdomen is. It's her belly and all that. This right here is her shell, and it really protects her body. And when she's ready to fly, her shell opens up, and this part kind of goes off to the side, and there's wings down there, and they come out. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to read to you a very important book called Are You a Ladybug? So we're going to figure out if you're a ladybug. Check your body. Do you have a thorax? Mm. Nope, I don't see any thoraxes. How many legs do you have? Hopefully, you only have two arms and two legs, not six. So, I will give you a clue. I don't think you're a ladybug, but we'll find out more. So, here we go. I'm trying to get in a comfy spot. Are you a ladybug? Written by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Looks like they worked on it as a team. And you know me, I like that. Okay. Are you a ladybug? If you are, your parents look like this and they eat aphids. When your mother lays her eggs, you are inside of one of them. While you are there, you will grow. When you have grown big enough, break out of the egg. So here are the eggs, right there. And, oops, there you are. That doesn't look like a ladybug, does it? Hmm. You have lots of brothers and sisters. If you look at them, you might think you have all made a big mistake. None of you is the same shape as a ladybug or a lady beetle. Not one of you is the same color as your mother. Don't worry about it, just eat. First, eat your own eggshell. Then, eat aphids. Eat lots of aphids. They are really easy to catch and they are very good for you. As you grow bigger, your skin will feel tight. This is not a problem. Soon, your skin will split right down the middle. Wiggle out of it and take it off. Then eat more aphids. So you guys know what that is? Remember, they have an exoskeleton. So unlike you, your skin stretches and grows. For an insect, they have to get rid of their, ex their external skeleton. It's kind of fascinating. As you grow, you must take off your skin again and again. Each time there is a new skin underneath. Keep on eating aphids. One day you will feel very tired. Stop eating and curl up like this. So this is the larva getting bigger and bigger. Oh, now it's getting tired. And it's starting to curl up in a ball. Look. What's happening to its skin? It's 
really changing. Take off your skin one more time. Now wait for your new skin to grow hard. Hmm. When your hard skin splits, climb out of it one last time. Now you are the right shape, but you are not the right color. You are very, very pale. Just wait. See? That's the old skin going off, and that's the new skin. Look, it's starting. Do you see a resemblance? Color is not right, but I see the head and I see the shell. Slowly, 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 your color grows stronger. Your black dots appear. Oh, congratulations. You are a ladybug or lady beetle. You can fly. Oh, could you imagine? You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. You are very hungry. Look for something to eat. Guess what? Aphids will do nicely. However, if your parents look a little like this, or this, or this, you are not a ladybug. You are, hmm, what do you think you are? <laughs> you are a human child. Your skin will not split open as you grow. Phew. You cannot fly. Do not try it. It is very unlikely that you are red with black spots. Now I've seen each and every one of you Nobody in this class has red skin with black spots. Even though you are a human, you can do lots of things that a ladybug cannot. And you will never, ever, ever have to eat aphids. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, some scientific facts. Did you know a female ladybug can eat around 70 aphids a day, but the smaller male ladybug only eats 40 a day? Okay, there are more than 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs. Whoa, my brain just exploded. They are not all red with black spots. Hmm. Or yellow with black spots. Or red with yellow and black spots. There are seven spot ladybugs. But you might see a two spot or a five spot or a yellow and black. <gasps> Hold on to your shoes. 22 spotted ladybug. Whoa. Ladybugs are not dangerous to humans, but they can bite. Animals and birds won't eat ladybugs. I didn't know that. Because they taste terrible. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you enjoy doing our directed draw today. I wonder what it will be. See you later. Bye.